Hey, everybody, we are live at the Pace Studios with Lindsay Sterling. Lindsay, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, totally. Happy holidays. We're stoked that you came by to uh, play some music. So Warmer in the Winter, the deluxe edition, uh, came out recently. It's in the charts right now, so congratulations on the release. And thanks so much for coming by and playing three songs from it. Uh, Can you tell us what you're going to do first? Yes. First, we're going to be doing um, a Celtic Christmas song. I saw three ships, and um, I love Celtic music. I grew up being a classical violinist, but fiddle music was like my my fun. So this goes back to like my little fiddle roots. There we go. One, two, three, four. Thanks for coming and doing this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember singing that. I sang in a, a big choir in San Francisco years and years and years ago. Oh, yeah? And these songs are so familiar to so many people. Um, mm-hmm. Can we talk a little bit about the uh, the process that you uh, went through to make these songs that so many people know so well your own and stamp them with your own arrangements and your own flavor? Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like I do have a slight advantage in doing these songs because, yes, they've been done like thousands of times. But being a violinist, it's it gives me a little bit of uh, edge to make it unique because I don't. There's not thousands of people covering them as instrumental songs, and so even though it is an, a bit of a challenge to make instrumental music stand on its own, um, I, I enjoy that and I love it that it does give it its own unique flair. And um, and like I said, I just decided to take that particular song in a super Celtic direction. You know, adding as much of that fiddle flair, and even in the actual track, there's a lot of like Celtic drumming in it that Drew was so kind doing for us just now um but uh you know and I I loved that a lot of the different songs on the album I decided to do in very different styles like that obviously Celtic and then some were kind of more leaning into that big band flavor and I actually had you know some trumpets and trombones on some songs and then other songs I went completely like whimsical magical feel you know like what would Danny Elfman do type thing um and I I loved that I kind of got to express so many different sides of Christmas that I love all you know, on one album. 
Well, so how long is it going to take you before you start selling the what would Danny from the WWDED <laughs> risk? Oh, that's bands. how I live my life. I, yeah. <laughs> does not everybody else do that? <laughs> I would rock a WWDED. <laughs> yeah, right. That, yep, that's right. Yeah, you, you got it. <laughs> um, so speaking of the trombones, the trumpets, the the horns that are on the record, can you talk a little bit about what you're playing next? I know uh, this is actually the second time. We've we recorded three sessions today, and this is the second time the trombone shorty has come up in really? uh, in conversation. And no um, can you tell us a little bit <laughs> about the, the collaboration and also uh, just what, you, what you're going to do next? Yes. Uh, well, the next song we're going to do is called Warmer in the Winter. It's a song that I actually wrote. So it's an original Christmas song. I wanted it to have have that classic flair to it and feel, you know, almost like it's an old Christmas song, even though it's a new one. And, um, you know, I wanted to have some instrumental artists featured on the album and, um, you know, trombone shorty is so awesome. And it was really fun because this song needed that trombone. Like it's such a, like an important part. Sorry, he's not here today, so he can't perform with us. <laughs> I'll be playing some of his parts on violin. Um, but it, it is such a fun flavor that that adds to the song. And literally I left little holes for him in the song and I was like, just fill in the, those little gaps. And, and so, yeah, you've got this awesome, like, like sliding trombone, you know, that kind of comes in and out of the song. It's really fun. So you'll have to check out the actual version since, you know, he was, he's kind of busy. He couldn't be here today. So with no further ado, um, this is warmer in the winter and I actually sing this song. So I don't sing a lot, but I'm going to be singing today. Woo. Okay. Ready. <clears throat> PJs with fuzzy socks Ugly sweaters with polka dots Warm cookies had my fill I might have gained a pound or two to help with the chill Hot cocoa piping hot Snuggled up in our favorite spot Whisper things we shouldn't say don't plan on leaving here till Christmas Day Windows frosted, summer's sleeping But I don't really mind I know that it's cold outside The world is bundled up in white I just need you by my side Cause I'm warmer in the winter with you on my own hibernating in my empty home Santa didn't even help I left a plate of cookies but I ate them myself Oh, this year feels so brand new Tie a ribbon around me and you Saint Nick is checking twice He's trying to figure out if we are naughty or nice roads are closed snow is falling but I don't really mind I know that it's cold outside the world is bundled up in white I just need you by my side cause I'm warmer in the winter with you
My managers are stoked. <laughs> Cheering super loud. You guys sound great in this room. Is this Thank have you. you have you done a number in this sort of uh, in this arrangement or is this is it um I mean do you do this frequently or is this um not frequently a less than frequent occurrence? Yeah, a little less than frequently. I mean this is so different from the show we normally put yeah. on, but it, it's kind of fun sometimes to like strip the songs back and make them super raw and you know, because if a melody can stand alone, you know, on its own two feet like that, that's when you're like, Oh, this is a good one, you know. Well, it was, I mean, warmer in the winter. It's a, it's a comfortable song. It's meant to, meant to, you know, feel like you're feel by cozy. a fire with a, with a, you know, sitting with somebody you love on the couch. And, exactly. Uh, the, the vibe we were trying to create here is sort of like a little, little nook to hang out in. So um, we are stoked that you arranged it like this and it sounded that way. And can we also talk, what I meant to talk about before I just said all those words is, <laughs> can we talk about the video that just came out <gasps> yesterday for Warmer yes. uh, in the Winter, which, um, so I was, I just, I started to watch it. I've seen the first half of it now. Oh, nice. I'm about to watch the other half. Of it. I hope everybody who's watching this live stream will go check it out as soon as we're done. Don't click away now, but as soon as we're done with this yes. live stream, check it out. Um, and you participated or were in charge of or had had a hand in literally every aspect of production, right? I mean, you edited, you did everything about it. Can you talk a little bit about how that video came to life? Yeah. Well, you know, I am super involved in the production of all my videos. I mean, I'm just kind of a film nerd. And so I always come up with the concepts or the stories or the visuals. And then, um, you know, I direct my own music videos. Um, I help costume them. And I also take it all the way to the finish line by editing them. Uh, this one was really easy to edit because it was a one take. <laughs> no editing involved, which is rare because usually I spend like days editing my videos. But um, this one was, I've always wanted to do a one take music video. And this was very much inspired by like, as a kid, I grew up watching old musicals. Like, Singing in the Rain was, like, my favorite movie when I was in first grade. And everybody else's favorite movie was The Lion King. I was obsessed with Singing in the Rain. And um, so this was inspired by that, like, old school, like, Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, and Ginger Rogers, like, type. And so there's a lot of, you know, a lot of ballroom dancing in it and some jives, some jazz. And, um, you know, it, and I really feel like it did capture that old, cozy Christmas vibe. Well, I agree. It sounded sounded outstanding. Um, the studio version sounds great. What you guys Thank just you. did here sounds it sounds amazing. I know you've got a super busy day going on right now. If you've got even a minute to film geek out at all, like right behind you, there's a <gasps> bunch of 35 millimeter. That's uh, Carlos Santana's 1971 South oh. American tour in that can. Those are all 35 millimeter reels sitting no next way. to each other. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cool. There's Louis Louis Armstrong at Newport Jazz in 1970. There's there's some amazing. Uh, stuff that is uh, that's in this archive. So if you wanted to geek out a little bit, this is a very geek outable room. That is really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. The Iggy Pop sitting next to the to the Loretta Lynn, next to the Elvis Costello, next to the Van Morrison. Why not? <laughs> and so you're gonna play a third from Warmer in the Winter. And can you tell us what you're gonna do next? Yes. So um, this next one we're gonna do is. Probably my particular favorite Christmas song. Um, I, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved the song Carol of the Bells. And it's very, like, it can be so whimsical and delicate. It can also be, like, really powerful. And that's why I love it. And so, you know, I tried several renditions before I figured out, like, the right version of this song. But um, I took it in a very, like, electronic direction on the album. And uh, that's how we do it in the show. But now we're going to do a little more of a, you know, obviously stripped back version of you, of uh, Carol of the Bells for you right now.
All right. Thank you for coming by, for taking the time to do this, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. And enjoy tomorrow. You've got a huge show at Beacon, at the Beacon Theater in New York, uh, which there may or may not still be tickets left to. There might not be by the end of the sentence. I don't know, but they're uh, running, like we're running hotcakes. short when I asked an hour ago. And um, so congratulations on that. And tra- tour safely You're, uh, throughout the U.S. Um, until the 22nd. And then so uh, I would imagine back home for Christmas. Yes, just in time for Christmas. We yeah. all get to go home. Good. We'll travel safely and enjoy all those dates and best of luck on warmer in the winter the deluxe edition which just came out and is in the charts now and thank you so much for coming and doing this awesome thanks for having us thanks for tuning in